Hello, and thanks for joining us for this video case tip on the Lifeline program on tribal lands. I'm Bryn McBride of ABC for Health, and we do have a couple links that you might be interested in that you can visit by clicking on that information button as we go throughout this webinar. Now, we have a separate video case tip on the Lifeline program that goes into a little bit more detail about the services available to get either a discounted local phone line or a free cell phone for qualifying individuals. Now, generally, you have to be under 135% of the federal poverty level or receiving public benefits such as Badger Care Plus or the Food Share Program to then also be eligible for the Lifeline program, a discounted home phone or a free cell phone. This is a program that's administered through the Public Service Com Commission Universal Services Fund here in the state of Wisconsin, and it's underutilized, which is why we're happy to be sharing the information with you today. We're bringing you this separate video case tip today because there are enhanced discounts for individuals that live on tribal lands. If you live on tribal lands and you wish to participate in the Lifeline program, the discount on your home phone line is going to be almost triple what it would be if you are not living on tribal lands. We want to make sure that if you are working with folks that live on tribal lands or you yourself live on tribal lands, or have friends or family close by that do, that they are aware of this great resource and the service provided by the Public Service Commission. There are even enhanced uh, benefits available if folks are particularly low income. It's worth calling and inquiring about this program on tribal lands. There is also a link up program. Now this program has been halted by the state of Wisconsin. It traditionally gave a discount on that hookup of a, a phone line. Used to be a $50 charge um, a discount off the charge. If you're on tribal lands, it's a hundred dollar discount on the installation. Wisconsin has halted this program, but if you find that you need assistance with a phone line hookup, you can still call the Public Service Commission and see what kind of discount or options they may have available. They might be able to still provide some assistance. Now, it's important to remember there are some limitations on the Lifeline program. First of all, it's a one per household benefit one either discounted phone line or one free cell phone per household. Uh, you also only could receive one link up or one connection fee discount per household, whatever that might look like uh, based on the conversation you have with the Public Service Commission. And again, just a reminder, it is an either or, either the free cell phone or the discounted phone line. You can't take advantage of both of those services. Why is it different on tribal land? Some people have asked, uh, well, first of all, let's think about the low rates of usage. Uh, as I said, this program is underutilized and this, the Public Service Commission is trying to provide an incentive for people who are eligible, lower income and eligible, to take advantage of this program. It is there to make telecommunications easier. People who utilize these services on tribal lands can receive enhanced discounts from the regularly operated program, so it really is in their best interest to take advantage of this service. Again, I said that if you're eligible, you will be under 135% of the federal poverty level or participating in one of the following programs such as Badger Care Plus, W-2, Food Share, the free lunch program at school. Something to definitely look at. You can apply online. Uh, you can start your conversation at the Public Service Commission website. You can also Call your local phone provider and inquire about the Lifeline program. Any local phone service provider will have knowledge of whether or not they participate in the program and if they're the right place to start. There are some programs like SafeLink that have their free cell phone application right on their website. That might be a place to start as well. Do you have to renew your coverage? Yes, this is something that you will touch base on annually, mostly to verify that you're still eligible. If you still fall under that 135% of the federal poverty threshold and if you are still living on tribal lands. Now, here are some of those websites I mentioned. The Public Service Commission website. Um, there's also a telecommunications assistance program, an equipment purchase plan. If you need telecommunications devices in your home because someone in the house has a disability, there are separate programs that make that available and we provide information to that as well. Thanks for joining us for this video case tip.